Now, you guys know, of course, we are living in a lockdown, right? Uh, everything is locked down. We're all, you know, kind of just making the best of it that we can. Everything's isolated. And one of the more important things is that, at least in the world of movies, one of the more important things is that production on a lot of these shows has been shut down. And that means not only do we not have, you know, great movies coming out right now at this very moment, it means that, you know, a lot of the movies that we've been looking forward to seeing are going to be at least somewhat delayed. Well, just as there may be a little bit of light on the horizon with movies coming back into theaters with Tenet's July 17th date and this unhinged thing that we'll talk about in a minute, it also looks like there's light at the end of the tunnel for production, physical production on movies to maybe start back up sooner rather than later. According to reports coming out here now, it looks like the UK is going to allow big productions such as Batman, The Witcher, and many other shows they refer to go back into production. This is the comment that's coming out of the UK government. It says, the government is working closely with the screen sector to understand how different types of productions can comply with social distancing guidelines and give confidence to people in the TV and film industries that there are safe ways in which they can return to work. This is from the Department for Digital Culture, Media, and Sports spokeswoman said in a statement. Rob, one of the things that's been going on here as, you know, the, the pandemic and the lockdown is not only seeing the course that's taken, but more and more, we are learning how can we deal with it? How can we adapt to it? How can we live in this reality and actually still function to a certain degree? Obviously, the movie production and the film industry has been looking at this very closely. They want to get their people back to work as soon as they safely can. And it sounds like the UK working with the film industry has been trying to come up with certain ways to make sure that happens. And it sounds like we may say, see production going back into work in the UK. Now, it should be pointed out here, Rob, that just because the UK may come out and say, okay, you're okay to go back into production, that doesn't necessarily mean the studios will. I mean, the studios might want to take their own time a little bit, but at least it looks like movies like The Batman, shows like The Witcher may be able to go back into production sooner rather than later. Rob, you're hearing this report. What do you make of this? Well, look, again, as long as it's done in a uh, careful way, I mean, people have to go back to work everybody we, we want to get our movies done we want to put i mean movies employ a lot of people and it's the more production that happens the better off it is but the problem is you know as you know movie sets are close quarters i mean people are you've got craft service tables you eat lunch together uh you're working right up bumping up next to people they can also be a sweaty place there's a lot of people hauling cables and gear and everything else so as long as you know, it, it's gone about in a very methodical, very safe, very orderly way. People are tested. Um, I, I think it's something that has to happen, like with all businesses. And, you know, if it's done properly with some foresight and planning and due diligence, I think it, it's it's a good thing, ultimately. Yeah, and you're right. A lot of these sets, I mean, they were saying that on Tenet, like, there could be up to 500 crew. We're on set right. at a time for 10. So you're absolutely right about that. Hopefully they can find ways to do this. R guys, what do you think about this report coming out? Do you think, oh, yes, yeah, signs that they they finally might start getting the machine rolling again? Maybe do you think it's a little bit too premature? Maybe they should be more cautious. How do you feel about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.